You will get it wrong if you don't see the pain behind the chaos that people who have been abused by narcissists show. 10 Good Reasons Why It's Hard to Clean Up After Narcissistic Abuse Let's start by looking at it. 1. Feeling connected to something Did you ever think about how hard it is for some people to get rid of their stuff? People who have been abused by narcissists care a lot about these things. These things aren't just odd. They're important to my mental health. In a world full of pain and chaos, these things are like happy islands in the midst of the sadness. They remind us of better times. Some people feel like they can't find their way through a storm after being hurt by a narcissist if they let go of these lifelines. 2. Believe in yourself. Have you ever felt like things were getting out of hand? That must be awful to feel all the time, especially after being abused by a narcissist. It's like being stuck on a wild ride that you didn't want to take. They use mess to get back some power when things are getting out of hand. Adds, this mess is mine, even if I can't control much else. The mess is a quiet protest against all the trouble they've been through. It's a small victory in a world that seems to be falling apart. That's how they say, I'm still here, and I still have some control over my life. They understand it's just a trick, like putting a band-aid on a bigger cut. Even if it's just in their messy rooms, they hold on to their things to feel like they're in charge of their lives again. 3. Not being able to let go. Did you ever think about why some people can't get rid of their stuff? For people who have been abused by narcissists, getting free is like untangling a knot that keeps getting tighter. Why things are important is just as important as what they are. You might be afraid that letting go of things that remind you of your worst times will erase your past or make you look careless or unwilling to thank them. You freeze when you're stuck in mud and don't want to go any deeper. So, they hold on, even though each thing makes them think of and feel bad things. Because it keeps them stuck in pain and worry, they can't find a way out of it. Tell me about the ways you've helped someone who has been abused by a narcissist start to clean up their living space. 4. Making changes. Someone who can't let go of something? Narcissist victims say they feel like they are stuck in a web of lies. Say you keep hearing that you need help from someone else to stay alive. Abusers change your thoughts so that you feel like you're not worth anything without them. What's the big deal? These lessons will stay with you even after the attacker is gone. In your head, their voice tells you that you're not good enough. It's not just a way to clear out your space. It's also a way to face your worst fears of not being good enough and getting in trouble. Every decision you make is linked to these chains you can't see. You need to do more than just clean up your room to get out of this mental jail. You need to change the story they told you about yourself and what you're worth. 5. A broken sense of identity. Have you ever thought about how the way some people keep their rooms messy shows more than just that? Nasty people who have been abused will have a lot of mess because they have lost who they are and their identity has been broken. The violence has eaten away at your very being so you don't know yourself when you look in the mirror. It's very painful to be told over and over that you're not good enough or that you don't count. The scars stay even after the abuser leaves. So, their mess isn't just a bunch of strange things. It shows how upset they are inside. It looks like they're trying to put things back together one piece at a time. But no matter how hard they try, there's always a part of them that they can't quite reach. Their mess will always show how upset they are inside until they can get their sense of self-worth and identity back. 6. Putting things away to calm down. Have you ever thought about why some people keep things that they don't need? It's more than just a habit for people who have been through a lot of pain, like emotional abuse, to hoard. It's how they stay alive. Imagine that someone who is supposed to care for you turns your whole world upside down. It would feel like a life raft to hold on to things. It's like, I may be drowning, but at least I have these things. It's interesting that this plan is working, at least for now. To them, their things make it easy to forget about the pain that's really there. But this pain won't go away by itself. It's there, waiting for you in the dark. 
The mess will keep getting worse until these painful memories and feelings are dealt with. This will hide the hard truth they don't want to face. 7. Why lots of things are fun for some people. Have you ever noticed how some people find deep meaning in things that seem really simple? If you are being abused by a narcissist, anything can feel like it saves your life. People need these things to remind them of how much they are worth in a world that keeps taking that away from them. It's interesting how these things often have more value than their monetary value. People say, despite being treated as insignificant, these things prove that I matter. It's sad that things can't fix the mental pain that comes from being ignored or mistreated. Putting your mouth full of sand might seem like a good idea at first, but it makes things worse in the long run. Their mess will always be there, telling them of the pain they are trying so hard to forget, until they find other ways to feel like they are important. 8. Feelings of guilt and shame. It feels like things are getting worse faster than you can blink. If you've been abused by a narcissist, you will always feel shame and guilt. It's possible that each lost thing makes them think more about how bad they are, which makes them blame and question themselves even more. It's hard for them to keep up with the mess. It feels like a wave that keeps getting bigger and bigger. The most upsetting thing about the mess is that it shows more than just physical chaos. It shows what they think is wrong with them and how they feel about never being good enough. A clean place doesn't make them feel better. Instead, they are lost in self-doubt and think they aren't good enough. They will be weighed down by this mess until they get away from it. They can't move that big load. 9. Getting other people to agree. Things that people see can help people who have been forgotten and put down by narcissistic abusers for a long time feel like they are still important. Keeping things you don't need could be a subconscious way of trying to get other people to like and accept you, hoping that these things will fill the mental void left by being ignored all the time. 10. Do not want to change. Have you ever thought you couldn't change something? Getting rid of junk is like facing their worst fears for people who have been abused by narcissists. Imagine going through piles of things that all make you feel and remember sad things. You may not know when the next bomb will go off as you walk through the trap. Not just the mess, but also what it stands for is what's important. There is a lot of stuff in their house that reminds them of how they were abused and shows how much pain and suffering they went through. It's not just about getting the space back in order. They're also facing deep-seated pain and regaining control of their lives. But I'll be honest, I'm afraid of change. You have to be willing to give up old habits and face the fact that the future might not be what you think it will be. This thought can be very scary for survivors, so they fight it and are always careful when they think about it. They will not be able to get the freedom they really want until they are brave enough to take the first step. Want to learn more about narcissism? Give this movie a like and subscribe to our station to show your support. Until the next time.